here sharing a moment with the uh, all-star guard Malcolm Brogdon hoping to be in our Oklahoma City led by head coach Billy Donovan Hamadou Diallo starts with Danilo again we've been celebrating a Veterans Day weekend and now we have basketball each other when Domas was a rookie in OKC Brogdon baseline jumper saw him warming up and practicing his college teammate Diallo is out there in the starting lineup as Brogdon makes it 6 nothing. Chris, if you recall in the Orlando game, he made those same two shots from the other side of the floor. So he ran the pick and roll. He's out due to personal reasons. This is the third different starting lineup OKC has used. And a basket by T.J. Warren. Shot clock down to five. And Gallinari has six. What he has to do to get a foul call. Just play. Just continue to play. Because they'll know they missed it. At some point, they'll recognize that they missed it. You take the officials, uh, if you will, from the, the more sympathetic side to, to the other side where they don't care. And that is a soft touch. By Indiana 4 of 8 from the field early. OKC 3 of 9. Great help by Aaron Holiday to get back there. They get the basket there. Holiday stops the points that led the league and steals. Hands there by C.J. Warren. Here's Warren. Post down the lane. And Warren missed it, but put in by Sabonis. Pacers back in front, 14-12. He'll just Alexander finds his way. Puts a, put a damper on the, the fire that's been lit by Dell. <laughs> by Gallinari. And a long three by Brogdon. He's got nine. What he understands is he can impact the game a lot of ways, and scoring doesn't have to be the way that he does that. T.J. Warren fires it in again. Get it get it. Then I got to deliver it to my shooters. Doug McDermott is in first time. He'll just Alexander to the basket, and he has another hook. And that's the way his shots are. It's that low, low post. Nice job there by T.J. Leaf to get it. Yeah, that pass is too late. Oh, great. Oh, good look. I'm telling you, you talked about McConnell doing something pretty good. Deontay Burton started his career at Marquette, ended at Iowa State. He and Abdul, Abdul Nader, both former Cyclones. Oh, nice Hello. back cut. Ooh, we got pushed before that. Fisher didn't see it. That's a pound down by Darius B. Houston. McDermott gets there, swiped away for a third pass by Indiana. This is a well, long team. I agree, but Chris, that, that actually was pretty good defense by Maryland as well. Holiday for three. Sabonis the rebound, he puts it right in. Mike Piscala cannot deal with Sabonis, who gets his own rebound and put it in. But he kept back. He's at 6'10. Backup center stretch four as Paul hits the jump. Aaron Holiday back in. His brother went to the bench. Look what I found. Now Warren is back in. And Brogdon has hit a three from that spot and make it two. Played three years there as the 12th pick back in 2012. Sabonis turns, right hand, got it. Yeah, he's too big for the scout. Yeah, he's carrying the load. There's no question he's carrying a, a physical load unlike he's had before. Warren back in, and Warren is in college basketball at Florida. That's loose, but it's picked up by Adams. I think everybody thought there was going to be a foul. Well, they thought of your team. Both teams struggling to make baskets here tonight in the first half. Pacers just 41%, but not struggling is TJ. Make that shot just at the foul line. That's a little bit of a runner. Oklahoma City just 33%. Diallo gets to the rim and banks it in. Rogan did a great job because he wasn't sure if Justin Holiday could manage that. Gillis Alexander, and he helped him big time. Then makes a basket. Interesting comment about it was LeBron James. Two Believe it or not, and the reason he makes it is because he thinks guys. Warren leaves it short. He tried to jump, his foot went out from under him, so he never got the kind of lift he, he needed. And he'll just Alexander makes the pace. Right there. And now Samson lets it fly from three. Good for him. 15 again, matching a game high they had in the first half. Paul gets inside. Adams. A little jump hook, bone holdover. Oh, they, they, once Paul George asked to, to be 
traded uh, as he was to the Clippers. And then they asked to Sabonis. Spins with his right. Really good deal. Yeah, I'm telling you, as a rookie, if he worked at practice every day against Adams, he would not have shown that right hand. This would be tough because Diallo could guard him out on the perimeter. That's because he just got a good hit. So bonus came out and said it. They're up in North Carolina. His dad played at NC State. He played at NC State as Gap with head coach Nate McMillan, the former member of the Wolf Pack. And now Sabonis steps out and hits the jumper. Starters game here. And Sabonis is going to turn. Go with the left hand this time. Got his own rebound. Really quick move on the catch. Went down with the injury. As Paul leads the Oklahoma City break. Campbell there. Well, that's not going to happen. There's a Campbell by him. He'll play tonight. Very good play. And Sabonis did a smart thing. Came in right after that. Because Nick McMillan knows Sabonis is tired. McConnell on the baseline. His little jumper is good. And McConnell, here it is. It's the two, two uh, holidays and the three TJs. You love it, too. You got to love that one. And the Pacers have opened it up 80 to 56. You make this team shoot jump shots. You can see all they want to do is drive. With our defensive rebound stats over the first 10 overall, he said, I think we're 23rd, but the key has been the guards and the wings. McConnell drives in and scores. Okay, the Pacers want to be a better rebounding team, and here's a steal. McConnell. Great pace. Fanning out to the corner was hot. Turnovers for McConnell. The defense by McDermott. So you, gotta, you, see, you see how everybody wants to drive it? So you got to know. 37. McDermott. Wide open his leap inside yes. and he pounds it down. Good job. Get that back off his play. And he's got there's another good piece of feet, good feedback. Got his hands on that ball. Now McDermott. Dunk it. Oh, he went easily on it. Of SGA as they called it. McConnell, and that's goal technique. Nobody had control of the ball. You jump it up instead of giving it to anyone. And that's why you saw McConnell and Nerlens Noel, former teammates in Philadelphia, talking yeah, about it. A Schroeder. McDermott, who has been shooting it well, and just missed that. Yeah, he's 0 for 4 from three-point range tonight as Schroeder gets another one. The other is you get a lot more organization just by a very nature. I mean, that, that's what Aaron Holiday can do. He has been too long. And played in Fort Wayne with the Mad Ants, but they're on two-way contracts, and that's two more for Malcolm Brogdon, his first points in the second half, and he's got his seventh 20-point game of the year. Simonis blocks. He took too many dribbles. He picked it up right away, because I'm sure that's what he was told in the locker room. And McDermott got one to go. Finally, he said. They are rolling tonight, beating the Thunder by 31. Three-point shot is good. Three, Baisley, 25 of his first 42 in the NBA for three-point range. With a left oh, hand, Holiday. And the change speed as good as anybody. McConnell looking, finds Holiday, wide open, McDermott. Sharing the ball. On their way to winning seven out of the last eight. As Burton hits the three, and this is strong. In the four-game win streak, they've allowed just 100 and a half points per game. We'll, we'll see if they're doing a more than uh, adequate job. Went after a cold shooting first half. The Pacers shooting better than 50% over two minutes to play. And a long three by Burke. Deontay Burke. Just after Thanksgiving, that starts in Philadelphia as Aaron Holiday gets two more. Standpoint. While it's tough. Because you got two very good teams in LA. I think it makes more sense than going back there twice if, if you're traveling as you see. Under 90. You sure? He is. Couple of them tonight for Deontay Burton and double figures with 10, and that's it. As the Pacers have won four straight and seven of eight overall, five straight here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. It was a no doubter tonight.